there are more pattern companies out there than you realize. Let's talk PDF pattern companies you don't know about. So I have a pattern buying addiction and I see the patterns and I want them. They're so gorgeous and I buy them. And it's one of the very few things that I hoard and that Jose turns a blind eye to and lets me get away with it. I promise it's not that bad. Having this amount of patterns is kind of a problem though. They take up a lot of space in my closet. They tend to be from the same brands over and over. So there's really not that fresh of ideas in there. They all kind of seem to be the same after a while. And then the pattern companies themselves are not necessarily aligned with like the values that I have as a seamstress. So this particular video is going to be PDF pattern companies that I'm really excited about that I've recently discovered or been introduced to. And I really wanted to be able to share them with you. Now the companies themselves that I've chosen are ones that I think are doing some fresh designs or you know at least kind of putting something else different out there. They're showing up in different ways online that I'm really appreciating and you know I'm, I'm really excited to see what else they come out with. I will put a disclaimer here. This isn't a sponsored video. These are pattern companies that have been recommended to me that I was excited about. I have not purchased anything from them yet, yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to doing that in the future. Uh, make sure to check out to the end of the video which one of these is my favorite and let's get to it. The first pattern company we're going to talk about is the Friday Pattern Company which I, when I discovered I was really excited about because of their range in sizes. They go up to a size 7X which I hardly ever see when I'm out there looking for new patterns. Um, so I think that it's amazing that they're expanding their customer base, they're expanding the amount of people that can they can reach and like influence into sewing. Uh, and their designs are super cute. Um, they're, they're marketed more as like modern sewing and minimalist sensibilities, but I still feel very uh, touched in my vintage heart uh, because the designs are still have this like romantic feeling, which I really love. So let's go ahead and look at a couple patterns. All right, so the first one we're gonna check out is the Davenport dress, which is gorgeous. It's It definitely has uh, the vintage feeling, but at the same time, you know, could still be something that you can wear out for cocktails once we're able to go outside. Um, so it has like this nice little cap sleeve with a long sleeve. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of elastic at the wrist as well as a drawstring around the waist, which, you know, I imagine makes it extremely comfortable. Um, definitely very seasonal in the terms of spring, summer, you know, with this kind of above the knee sort of look. Um, I like that there's multiple, you know, size ranges represented in their models, which is a big plus. Um, and so you can kind of see like it is perfect for just, yeah, throwing on some comfy shoes and going out there if you want to go to the farmer's market, but then also going out to, to drinks with like a really nice shoe. Um, another pattern I wanted to talk about was the sagebrush pattern, which, um, I kind of liked it, it. What drew me to it was that it reminded me like a shirt that I had when I was a little girl. And then now as an adult, I'm like, it would be so cute to kind of have a little bit of that puff playful sleeve. And then, you know, obviously the ruffles at the bottom of the yoke. Um, you can also see that depending on the fabric that you choose, you know, you'll have a completely different effect. I love it in the gingham that they have here for their, for their sample size, which is pretty cool. Overall, with the Friday Pattern Company, um, I'm really liking that I also found out that they have like uh, donations to charity that they do. I think they do something like 5% and just overall are going out there and making sizes for people who may not have uh, patterns readily available to them. Uh, so that's something that I think, especially as somebody who sews on YouTube and who shows on Instagram and who really wants to make sewing something that everybody feels that they can have access to, this is like a huge win. The next company we're gonna talk about is Untitled Thoughts, which the name is so cool, I absolutely love. Uh, the I did a little research on this company. Uh, it's owned by Brittany, a one woman operation, and yay for uh, women owned businesses. Uh, what I particularly like about it is like obviously the pattern designs that she's released, but also the amount of integrity that she has in terms of her eco consciousness. Um, you know, if you check out her about me on her website, it is legitimately just filled with these 
um, notes to show the, the amount of thought that she's actually put into what her designs and what her, you know, garments are putting out to the world. So for example, finding where the thread was sourced or um, how are the fabric scraps at the end of a project going to be recycled or hey, these are the light bulbs that I actually use in my studio and how I'm trying to cut my eco footprint. I think it's it's it shows a lot of integrity. It shows a lot of like thorough thought into that. And that's really important to me, especially as a San Francisco hippie for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at a couple of designs that stood out to me that I really love. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is the Amelie dress, which is so gorgeous. Um, it's got this beautiful open back with a button and it looks like, at least in some of the designs that I've seen, um, or at least the samples that I've seen, that that button placement can be in a bunch of different places on the back. You can see that in the first version, the button was on the top, but it looks like in this stripe version, it's on the bottom. I love the buttons down the back. It's so 40s and so romantic. Um, and it, it literally looks like something you can go to the farmer's market in or go on a picnic with, which is cool. Um, what I also really like about this design is that it's got this um, front pleating or I'm sorry like a front dart that connects into a V in the front so it, it's such a different way to to look at it um, but either way it's absolutely gorgeous uh, the next design that we're going to look at is the Mathilda wrap dress not Matilda Mathilda with an H either way it's super cute it, it's very another 40s ish design um, but I love the the fluttery sleeves I like that it's simple. I like that you could probably do it in a bunch of different design, uh, a bunch of different fabrics just to get different feelings and different effects to it. And what this particular pattern has is that it also has a, a cutoff line to make this into a peplum. So not only could you make like a really cute, fluttery, 40 sleeve, you know, uh, afternoon, maybe wedding dress, like to go to a wedding, but you could also make it into a really cute, simple top to wear over jeans as well. Either way, Untitled Thoughts, very cool, very exciting. I saw that in her About Me, she was describing that she gives five to 10%, five to 10% for, for a one woman operation is a lot, uh, to charity. And then at the end of the year, she releases a transparency report so you can see how much money was given to the charities that she supports. So lots of integrity makes me love the brand even more. Before I go on to the next PDF pattern company I'm going to talk about, please take a moment to hit subscribe and like on this video. It really helps the channel and it helps get it out there to other people who might be interested in brand new uh, PDF pattern companies. But let's move on to the next one, which is actually my favorite, uh, and it is Bambini del Mare. Now, uh, they don't have a lot of designs, but that's okay. What warms my heart about this particular brand, it is that Sarah, who is the owner, is a Bay Area native. So Berkeley, Oakland area and went to school just a stone's throw away of where I am in the new studio. It, it honestly kind of really excites me that there's people in the Bay Area who are doing this sort of thing, especially since Sarah's also a person of color and as a Latina, that makes me so happy to see more people like me and like her and like people who are underrepresented in sewing, like going out there and starting their own businesses and doing the damn thing. But let's go ahead and talk about a couple of her designs. The first one we're gonna talk about is the farmer's market dress, which is absolutely gorgeous and so romantic. Um, again, open back on this one, which we saw with the um, Untitled Thoughts brand. Uh, I think it was the Amelie dress. Um, but I, I was never the type to like an open back dress, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Uh, I, it does look like a farmer's market dress. It also looks like a picnic dress. It also looks like a dress that you could make to a nice wedding or to a nice like work event once we're able to do that again. Um, and I just, the whole thing, it's, it's so romantic. It's styled beautifully here. Now it only goes up to a size 16 on the pattern chart. So fingers crossed that um, this particular designer is able to go up to that 7X range one day like we saw uh, with another brand here in the video. But overall really liked it. And, and I like that it's a versatile sort of piece. Now the next one we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Dolce, Dolcetta, Dolcesa. 
Jose is shaking his head at me. I don't know how to pronounce it right, but this bolero, which again is another romantic sort of piece, you can see um, how Sarah's very inspired by like the fluttery sleeve and the sort of romantic big bow, which is super cool. I like that this bolero has a couple different design options, like one with the tiny little bows, one with a huge bow, and then obviously the sleeve length change. Now, this is another one that only goes up to a size 16, but if you're uh if you're crafty with your pattern drafting you could probably expand this up to fit larger sizes especially since the only thing that's really dependent on a specific size range is probably uh just like the um the length of the shoulders um potentially the size of the your shoulder area here and then you know everything else like the bus is not included as part of this bolero so um you definitely have some options i like that you could pair it up you know dress it up dress it down um, you can see here that it's being worn with jeans, but you can throw this over a really beautiful dress and then have like a very nice dinner out. Regardless, this particular pattern company, super exciting. Really love what Bandini Del Mare is doing. Really love um, what I'm looking forward to seeing, especially if it continues this very romantic way. Um, and yeah, supporting a Bay Area native. Like, I love it. I'm here for it. Now, I know PDF patterns are not for everyone, and I know a lot of people have reservations about them. There's a printing, there's a taping, there's a tracing, where are you gonna store them? Like, it's a whole to-do. I get it, I work with PDF patterns very often, so I totally understand. But the thing is that PDF patterns help more people so like that's what it comes down to and seeing these indie pattern companies that are like up and coming doing their thing putting out designs like i love that it, it means that these designs get to touch more people and then it, it, you know with the inclusion of, of, of size inclusivity it, it it blows it up way more people can get to sewing but i i i'm really well aware of the the cost of having to take these pdfs it's a whole day maybe of having to deal with that but it's something that i go through so you can go through it as well or at least I hope you can. I'm putting it out there. Do it! So many new designs. Um, I also really like that these particular companies are putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to charitable donations. I don't think I mentioned it, but uh, Bandini Del Mare also puts uh, some donations towards charity as well and does some philanthropy. So, you know, I, I love that these companies are living their value and doing the damn thing. Um, another note on uh, size inclusivity with these companies is that because they're doing PDFs, it means that there's a little bit more money in the bank to put towards pattern grading, right? And to be able to expand that size range versus some of the companies that do a lot of paper patterns, there's less money to go into that, right? Because they're dealing with the cost of production of printing out paper patterns. Um, so just keep that in mind. These are sort of decisions that are being made by designers around the world. These are decisions that are being made every single day, like the trade-offs of, of where to invest their money. And we wanna be able to support, as people who sell like, not only small businesses, but people who are taking these sort of risks, putting out new designs, but also allowing more people to sew, which is amazing. Um, please go ahead and support these companies. Please go ahead and watch these videos where I make some, uh, some patterns or uh, some from, some designs from PDFs. Uh, but if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, all the places, all the stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.